Me, brother. That's right. <laughs> wonderful song. Please, wonderful please. song. Your satchel? Yes, this sir. one? Yes, sir. If you would tonight uh, take go, your right? Bibles and I turn do. to John 14 6. John 14 6. John 14 6. <clears throat> Let me give you just a second to get there. Can everybody hear me okay? Yes, sir. Can everybody hear me okay like no. this? <laughs> no. Okay. Remember, it's important. It is important. People like the CDs and the DVDs. Which is wonderful. So I better brush my hair. <laughs> <laughs> okay, enough time there. Go ahead. John what? 14. Chapter 14. Verse 6. And verse 6. Amen. Amen. Wow, you quick. Amen. I, I, have my, I have my notes for this morning. Did I get a little good, John? <laughs> you didn't have far to go. See how good the Lord is? Amen. He is all good all the, time. the time. All the time. Okay, everybody about there? Amen. Okay. Well then let us read. John 14, 6. Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. That's right. No one comes to the Father except through, through me. Amen. Jesus said, I am the way. So, I want to look at that word way for just a second because way can mean a couple of different things. Right. It can be a method or a course of action. Um, in other words, uh, do it this way. Yeah. Isn't that right? Well, I want to do it Jesus' way. I yeah. want to do it the Lord's way. That's right. Don't you want to do it the Lord's way yeah. tonight? Yeah, if we do. learn nothing else from church, we should learn that the Lord's way... It's the right way to do it. It's the proper way. It's the good way. The Lord's way is the best way for us. The Lord's way is the way to go. That's right. Now, isn't that right? right. And um, you could also think of that word as a direction also. Go this way. Well, that this way is also leading us to the Lord. And following in his steps. See, it's a direction. I want to go the Lord's way. I want to do it his way, and I want to go in the way that he is directing me. Is everybody with me tonight? Amen. Yes. Amen. So, not only is it uh, is, is a, a method or a way of doing things, but it's also a direction. I, I just want you to keep that in mind when we discuss a couple of uh, little things about uh, Jesus saying that He is the way. Because, you know what? He has made a way for each and every one of us. Sometimes I know it doesn't seem like it. Sometimes we feel lost. Sometimes we feel confused. Sometimes we feel like He has forsaken us. Sometimes we feel like He is ignoring us. Sometimes we feel like... But through all of this, God's got a purpose. Yeah. Amen. Um, we talked this morning about, uh, um, you know, we, we feel like God has forsaken us. But you know what? He's always on time. Yes. We're always like, oh, Lord, you're not answering me. You're not. You know what? God is moving around situations and, and uh, uh, changing people's minds and changing their hearts and changing the way that we look at things also before He is able to answer us in a way that we need to be answered. Right, right. See, we're all individuals and He treats us all as individuals. Now, God's don't get me wrong, God's law still stands. Uh -huh. And it stands for everybody. Uh, but He knows the way to our hearts. Yes, He does. So, we need to find our way to his heart. Good. Isn't that right? That is so right. it's a way. Isn't that right? Yeah. So not only is it a method, but it's also a direction. Mm -hmm. Okay. Jesus is our way. Isn't that right? Yeah. He's our new way. And he's our way 
to triumph over many things. And one thing is to triumph. He is our way to triumph. I like to say the word triumph yeah. because, you know, I could say win, but the in these days the word win even has lost all of its value because everybody's a winner. Everybody gets a trophy. Everybody... Sorry, the Lord is true, yeah. and He knows who the winners are, That's right. and who has put forth the effort, yeah. and who has put their heart out right. for Amen. Him. The Lord knows. Yeah. So He is our way of triumphing over trouble. Yeah. You know what? We all have trouble, don't we? Yeah. Whether it's trouble with kids, yeah. trouble with finances, yeah. trouble with spouses, trouble with... Anything. Mexican food. Yeah. Trouble with Mexican food, even. Okay. Sister Sue's knowing some trouble with Mexican food. But we all have troubles. Right. Illness. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there, there's so many troubles. But see, will, will the Lord take our troubles away? Well, maybe or maybe not. But one thing is for sure, though, is He will see us through our trouble, yes. no yes. matter what. Thank no matter you, Lord. What happens, Thank you. He will see us right. through Thank our troubles. You know, we've talked many times about, you know, sometimes we just have to go through things. And we're praying, oh, Lord, just get me out of it. We should be praying, Lord, show me the way yes. through. Yes, right. Because we have to go through things in order to learn. Because if we don't learn, guess what? We don't grow. Right. right. And without growth, what is there? Stagnant. Mr. Sue likes to say the stagnant, stagnant. stinky yeah. water. Yeah. And that is so true. When water sits still, it's stagnant, stinky. And it smells terrible, and I wouldn't want to even taste it, would you? No. no. But God says, taste and see, because the Lord is good. Amen. I'm sorry, I got it. Made you thirsty, didn't it? Made me thirsty, thinking of all that stinky, stagnant water. <laughs> Taste and see. I'm so glad we have clean, purified Ooh, water. Yeah. yeah. And I'm glad that we have the living water. Amen. Amen. Jesus is also our new way to triumph. I'm sorry. I'm... Jesus is also our new way to triumph. I didn't tell you about that word triumph, did it? Yeah, I did. I don't like the word win. Triumph! That means it's in finality. Triumph to me means a total win. There's no question about it. There's no tie. There's no anything. You have won. They have won. You have triumphed. And I think that Jesus likes that word too because He says, with me, you can triumph over your difficulties. Amen. But He also, He is our way to triumph way. over fear That's also. Right. Right. See, we're all scared of something. We're all scared of, so, sometimes we're scared of physical things. Um, like, I don't like snakes. A snake can make me jump about 10 <laughs> feet in the air. But uh, it's not usually the physical things, though, that that uh, give us so many problems. That's right. It's right. emotional things, and it is uh, our families and our kids and our loved ones right. that usually give us our difficulties. That's so right. That's so right. Right. God will bring us through. But the Lord will see us through every time. That's right. Father God, touch Sister By over there. Help her with all of her needs, Lord. Thank Give you, her Lord. breath. Yep. And help her with her all that Thank you, Jesus Lord. Name. Give her the air that she needs. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Make sure her machine is turned on, please. But fear is a... Fear can really bring us down. Oh, boy. Fear can stop us from serving our God. That's right. Yeah. We can be fearful of people, fearful of circumstances, fearful of all sorts of things. But fear is of the devil. The Lord says, fear not, for I am with you. Fear not, because I will strengthen you. Fear not, because you are with the living God. That's right. That's right. Sir? I said, some fear the preacher. Some fear the preacher, that's, that's right. <laughs> now we should all fear the Word, though. That's right. And we should all fear the Lord. That's right. Yes. That's for sure. 
But there's many things. Jesus says He is the way. And He's also our way to triumph, to win out, to be successful over the devil's favorite little plan for us, and that is sin. We can triumph over sin, but we cannot do it without Jesus. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the way. He has showed us that it can be done. He has showed us also that when troubles come, that you pray to the Father. He has showed us that... uh, Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We got we got, we got the here. deliverance right here in church. Yes, Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. But Jesus is our new way to triumph over sin. You know, uh, uh, we we try many many things before we know the Lord. We try this self help stuff. We try going to meetings. We try. Uh, everything that we can think of and, and I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with going to a meeting okay. to have some encouragement or, or anything else but really if we really want to get somewhere really. we have to do it through our Lord Jesus That's right. he's the only way we can triumph he has triumphed over everything yes. he has victory. sir victory victory that's right yes. victory that's right. It's time to hold it out here. <laughs> Victory is he has triumphed over the world. He has right. already won. He's already defeated the yes, world. Yeah. Oh, and we can too. We See, he is also our example yeah. of how we can have triumph over sin. Amen. You see, we must we we must pray, and we must have faith, Amen. and we must. But through Jesus. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. That's right. Is that right? He is also our way. Okay, so we have talked about we, we can triumph over trouble because Jesus is the way. He's our new way to triumph over trouble. He's our way to triumph over fear. And He's our way to triumph over sin. But He is also our way to triumph over even death. Oh, now that includes a lot of different things because that includes fear a lot of times. Uh, And uh, it includes trouble a lot of times too. But we can triumph over death. Does that mean that uh, we're not going to die a physical death? No, I'm sorry. That's not what that means. doesn't mean mean that. It means that we don't have to fear death. It means that we know... When we die a physical death, no matter how how quiet and easy and calm it is or how horrific it is, that we are going to a place Hallelujah. where it won't matter. That's right. That's right. Nothing will matter but Jesus. That's it. Thank you, Lord. Nothing will matter but Jesus. See, we can Jesus. triumph Hallelujah. over death. Because see, without Jesus... We will die even, we won't die just once, we will also die the second death. But with Jesus, we will live an eternal life, and there will be no more death, and there will no be no more tears, there will be no more crying, there will be no more trouble, there will be no more pain. See, Jesus is our way. He's not only the method, but He's also the direction Direction. that we need to go. Jesus is the answer. Okay, you have a question? Jesus is the answer. Isn't that right, Brother Stephen? That's right. Problem solver, isn't he? Problem solver. And we can only imagine what life will be when we go to heaven. Amen. Amen. Oh, wonderful thing. Jesus is not only the way but he's also the truth. Uh-huh. Oh, you know, one place in the in the Bible when um, right before Jesus was crucified, Pontius Pilate he asked Jesus, "What is truth?" Because yeah. Jesus said, "I am the I am the way and the truth." And, and Pontius said, uh, Pilate said, uh, "What is truth?" Wow. But I was disappointed because we didn't get to hear the answer. Because Pontius Pilate walked away at that time, and and Jesus was taken away. Really? Yeah. Well, actually, 
Barabbas was given to the people and then Jesus was taken away. But what is truth? I mean, is it, is it just the opposite of a lie? Is that what it is? Well, kind of. That's part of it. But a deeper meaning to truth is really whatever God has proclaimed, that is what truth is. See, God is the creator of everything that we know. From, from the little tiny atoms that we know about to great big galaxies and universes yeah. that we don't know much about. But one thing that we do know is that we serve a mighty, wonderful, yes, we do. awesome God. Yes, Isn't that we do. Right? And God is for us, not against yes, us. Right. God is always saying, come on, come on, come on. Amen. Come on, it's this way. But the truth is, part of the truth is that God loves you so much that He sent His only begotten Son to this world so that you can have life and life more abundantly. And we can look at that two ways. We can say, okay, more abundantly means more or it means better. Isn't that right? Well, we will. We may not have more, um, more time here on earth, but we can live life with joy and life with hope because we see better things to come at the end of this life. Isn't that right? Because I don't want to be looking forward to burning in hell. I want to be looking forward to what we can only imagine right now. is dancing with Jesus, glorifying Him, praising Him, loving Him. Oh, and Him loving us back. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be a different life. It's going to be a wonderful life then. That's right. But we, see, got to get there. Yes. we got to get there. But the only way we can get there is to know the truth. Right. And what is the truth? Everything Jesus. that God has told us and so much more. Right. See, He can, you know, have you ever heard the expression, oh, you can't handle the truth. <laughs> well, yeah. probably, really, truly, we probably at this point cannot handle the truth and how awesome and wonderful and great that our God really is. Amen. We probably Amen. really can't handle it. We there talked about Daniel this morning falling down and trembling. He was a great man of God and he was weak and he couldn't speak. Yeah. Oh, Amen. I don't know if we can handle the truth, yeah. but I want to try, Lord. Amen. I want to try. Yeah. Show me, Lord. Show me the truth. Yeah. Because truth is everything that God has right. proclaimed. Right. Yeah. Truth is everything that's in the Bible Amen. and so much more. Right. Truth is everything that Jesus did and said. Truth is everything that God has created. Uh -huh. See, He is the creator and the sustainer. Yes. See, without our Lord Jesus Christ, everything would just fall apart. Right. And there, would be, there would be nothingness except for Him. He would still remain right. because He is such an awesome God. But we would not. Yeah. So thank God that He's a loving, caring God and He cares for each and every one of us. Oh, He's got so much love. He's got enough to love to go around for everybody individually. He doesn't just say, oh, you know, I love the world. He says, I love Sandra. I love Pastor Steve. I love Sister Vi. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. And he calls us all by name. Thank you, Lord. Oh, God's got wonderful things in store. He's got plans, wonderful plans for each and every one of us. And you know what? Maybe some of us have fulfilled some of the plan. Maybe some of us haven't even gotten started yet. But I do know one thing. If God's got a plan for me, I want to go through with it. Because His plans are good. His plans are loving. And His plans are always for our own good. Yes. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Good word, good word. Oh. Oh. God, uh, Jesus says, I am the way, and I am the truth, and I am the life. Oh, you know God is the creator, and He's also the sustainer. What does that mean? That means that He, he created everything, including us. He, he created the world. He, he created the animals. He created the skies. He created 
Oh, anything that we can see, touch, or, or, or whatever. He even created the little tiny atoms and stuff that it creates, a, it, that everything consists of. Oh, them scientists think they're so smart. Oh, oh they think they're so smart. You know what? They can't create anything. All they can do is take what God has already made and try to turn it into something else. That's all they can do. They, they haven't created nothing except for a lot of headache and heartache. Uh, I'm not putting scientists down, though. It's good to know about things for people's health. It's good to know about, for you know, uh, how to take care of bodies. It's good to know about how to take care of the environment. You know, it's good to know what's good for you and what's not good for you. Um, but they are nothing, nothing, even close to God. Sometimes they think they're so smart, though. No way. Oh. Jesus, though, is the way, the truth, and the life. Oh, I was in the middle of telling you about God is the creator, but he is also the sustainer. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean, sustainer? It means it's good that to means stay. he holds, holds it, it all together. together. Amen. Right. Uh, I have a little brother, or had a little brother. Uh, stop and tell you a little story real quick. Um, and bless his heart. Um, he knew of the Lord, but he didn't serve the Lord, and he got mixed up in a lot of the stupid things in the world that I did a long time ago. Um, we didn't run in the same group hardly ever. We saw each other at family functions and whatnot. But, you know, my, my family was, when we were young, we, we were, there was eight of us kids, and we were all tight, 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 because mom and dad were in the bar all the time. So, so we had to join together to make things right happen yourself. for the house. Yeah. And uh, God bless mom and dad because, you know what, they found the Lord Amen. a little later on. Amen. Saw them through a lot of uh, heartaches that us kids uh, caused them. Um, and they serve the Lord faithfully now. Wonderful. Um, but my little brother Mike, um, even though that he was wrapped up in drugs and alcohol like a lot of the rest of us were, he was the one, and we always said, Mike is the one, he's the glue that holds the family together. Because a lot of us weren't very good about calling one or the other, or getting together with one or the other. But Mike knew that, and Mike would call each and every one and keep everybody in contact. Well, God is the glue that holds everything right. together. And God is the glue that holds the church together. And God is the glue that holds the galaxy and the universe together. Thank you, Lord. And it's a it's a good glue. Talk about super glue. Oh, it's even better than that. But thank God that he holds everything together. Thank God that we haven't disappointed him so bad that he has given up or given over. But we serve a mighty, awesome, loving God. Yes, we did. Oh, we do. He is, he is wonderful. And He is the life. And He sustains us. He keeps us. Um, he gives us uh, encouragement and lets us know that we can do all things through, through Christ right who, strengthens us. who strengthens us. Amen. Well, I got really thirsty again. Was somebody talking about the swamp again or something? <laughs> Oh, but Jesus is also, he's not only the way and the truth, but he's also the life. That's right. Amen. And God is also the cause of life. Amen. Jesus loves you. Yes, he does. Loves you too. He loves you so much, he knits you together in your mother's womb. Amen. Yeah. Look how I'm making this one. Oh, this one will serve me. Oh, I already love this one. Oh, yes. This one will serve me. I'm sure of it. And it's all good until, That's right. until we get the free will. In uh -huh. us. And it's all good. But God still says, you know what? 
anytime they decide to come to me, I'm going to accept them back. Amen. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Because he's not only loving, but he's forgiving. Yeah, very. Oh, and we, we just hate it when somebody won't forgive us. Right. But you know what? <laughs> Do we forgive? Do we forgive? See, sometimes to be forgiven, we have to forgive all of us. We have to give it all up. We have to give it to the Lord. But Jesus said He is the life and that He would... Uh, and He wants to give us a good life. He does. He wants to give us a life more abundantly. Yes. Oh, you know, it's not going to make our years here anymore. That's right. It probably won't. But you know what it will do? Do you know what it will do? It'll give us lots of years to serve Him in our heavenly home. Now, won't it? Yes. And more abundantly. That means more and better. It has two meanings. It can mean more and better. You know what? I am so glad that I turned to Christ and gave up the drugs yes. and gave up the alcohol, yeah. Thank you, gave up the dead end streets, gave up the bottle, yeah. gave up the beer can, right. gave up all the stuff where there was no hope. Yeah. Right. All it was was a dead end. I was tired of running down blind alleys. Oh, wondering what was at the dead end down there. It was never good. Never good. Because it was all dead ends. Yeah. It was always a gang of thugs ready to take what little that you didn't have. That's it. But Jesus, He gives us life. And He gives us life more abundantly. He gives us love. He gives us companionship. He gives us a church family. Amen. He gives us everything that we need. Amen. You know what? In Second Peter it says, He has given us everything that we need to serve Him and to live a godly life. He's already given it to us. All that we got to do is take hold and go. God is the life giver. Yeah. We can live a will we live a life without trouble? No, I don't think so, unless you're in a bubble. But He will see us through. He gives us a life with hope, uh, a life with love, and a life with caring, and life with a purpose. Amen. Do you know that every Christian has a purpose? Or purpose says because you know what we all have the great commission that's all our jobs we have to be a good steward with passing out jesus word you know giving the good word and and you don't have to be a preacher to do it you don't even have to be a door greeter to do it all you have to be is a follower of Christ. Right. Oh, all we have to know do is know the way to go and know the truth which is in our Bible. Oh, and have the good life that the Lord has given us. Oh, God is good. You know, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. That's um, right. And He has given us all that we need. To live a godly life, That's right. um, but even it, the relationship needs to be two-sided. That's right. That's right. That's right. So, you know, we need to. Uh, he has given us a way to triumph over so many things. I named a few here, which was trouble, fear, sin, and death. There's so many other things in this life that we need to triumph over. Yes. If you want to get more specific, you can get down to emotions, heartaches, drugs, alcohol, um, uh, uh, so many others, uh, hatred. So many. Uh, yeah, I'm not even going to go into all that. But I just wanted to bring that to you tonight because Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And, and he has come, and we need to rejoice. In yes. Amen. Amen. We need to rejoice. So, with all that being said, um, if anybody would like prayer tonight, come on up. I'd be glad to pray for you. Um, if uh, anybody has any questions, I'd be glad to answer them. If anybody has any comments, just go ahead and speak up. 
Okay, with all that Very being good. said, Very good. while we stand and we will dismiss for the night. I would like some woman to stand in for my wife tonight. Well, I will. You will.